Life in a wheelchair, that's Brenner Larson's reality now. He was a victim in a home invasion robbery four years ago. He survived, but his friend did not. For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Brenner Larson was an athlete, loved football and rugby. But all that changed in 2016 when two men broke into his apartment. It looked like staking out our apartment for a couple of weeks or something. You know? And the doors leading into Brenner Larson's apartment are unlocked. I got woken up to uh, the Bailey's hand around my throat. And uh, I think it was a torch. It looked like a gun. You know? According to a police report, Christopher Bailey is holding a butane torch, threatening to burn him and wants Larson to give him money. In another room is Jonathan Rogers, holding a gun to Larson's roommate, DeAndre Baldwin. Larson gives them money. We gave him some money, you know, I told him, like, if you want the TV, take the TV. If you want the Xbox, take the Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Like, take what you want and leave. But they refuse to leave, and Baldwin gets up and confronts Bailey. It gets heated, and Larson throws a bottle at Rogers. That's when uh, Rogers had shot me, and uh, I didn't hear it. I didn't feel it. I was just all of a sudden, like, it was like I blinked my eyes and was on the ground. While he's on the ground, Rogers is still holding the gun as his friend fights with Bailey. Larson tries to help, but can't get up. My upper half moves, my lower half doesn't move. And so if that happens, the first thought that goes through my mind is like, dang, if, if I survive through this, I'm going to be paralyzed. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, right as that thought happened uh, is when Rogers shot DeAndre. Bailey and Baldwin take off before police arrive. Baldwin dies, but Larson's rushed to the hospital and eventually loses consciousness. He wakes up learning his best friend doesn't survive the shooting. At the same time, he learns he'll never walk again. It crushed me. I didn't know what to do. You know, I just... It instantly threw me into a deep spell of depression. Jonathan Rogers, the alleged trigger man, and Christopher Bailey, an accomplice, are eventually arrested. The charges include murder and attempted murder. Larson says he ran into them at the apartment complex before, but doesn't know them. They didn't know who they were, didn't know what they were going to do. And those were the times that we had seen them around the complex a couple of times and never thought anything of it. Larson misses his good friend, DeAndre Baldwin. They've known each other for years and were like brothers. But now they're in different worlds, and Larson cherishes their time together. As for him, he understands his fate. I might be able to with a lot of, like, a lot of physical therapy if I stay dedicated to it, but even... Even if I do, you know, there's a possibility that I may never walk again. And that's the challenge now facing Larson. Now, the two men have pleaded guilty to the crimes and will be sentenced next week in court. Now, Larson plans to be there. He has a question for them. He wants to know why. Why would you do this to two people? For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.